Hey everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with yet another monthly plan with me bullet journal setup video. We're doing November 2019 bullet journal setup. So almost the end of the year, which is insane, but I'm excited to sit down and get planning, especially because this time of the year is always, always my favorite time of the year. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while now, then you will know that full time is my absolute favorite time of the year. Hence my outfit. I decided to dress up in full autumnal, is that the word? Full autumn gear and I even dyed my hair back to brown to suit the season. I mean, it wasn't just for the season, but it just happens to work out that way. Anyway, I know you guys are really excited to get right into it, but before we do, as usual, I'd like to give a quick thank you to today's sponsor, Skillshare. You guys already know by now that we love Skillshare over here on the channel. They are a great online learning community. I take classes on there. I have a class on there as well, but I will talk a little bit more about them later in the video. Without further ado, let's get planning. Grab a blank and a nice cup of tea or coffee, whatever, and your bullet journal and pens, and let's get planning. All right, so for this month's theme, I decided to do something that I love very much. It's very near and dear to my heart, and it's a part of my everyday life, coffee. <laughs> you guys have been asking for me to do a coffee theme for the longest time now, and I thought that November would be the perfect month to do it because it's fall time, and whenever I think of fall, I think of cozying up with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. I know some people aren't big coffee drinkers, so you could technically turn all of this into tea if you prefer that. But yeah, for the cover, as you can see, I decided to draw a bunch of different coffee cups, and this theme was so much fun because coffee Coffee cups are pretty easy to draw, but what makes it look fun and interesting is that I changed up the design on the mugs, I drew some takeout coffee cups, I drew some iced coffee cups in like a glass cup, and I also drew some coffee pots. Uh, so you can switch it up depending on what you want and really just have fun with it. I pretty much just used three colors, a light brown, a dark brown, and then the black fine liner, and I switched between all of those. For some of the coffee cups, I actually outlined it with the brown just to change things up a little, but in general, this design is pretty simple. It does remind me a lot of my bubble tea theme, uh, which is another beverage that I love a lot. Uh, and also uh, the cactus theme that I did, I think a couple years back. And whenever I do cover pages like this where the doodles are kind of scattered all over the place, I really have so much fun because there's a lot of freedom and you can really go whatever direction you want. Uh, and especially for you guys when you're recreating, don't feel like you have to do the exact same mug designs as me. You can decorate them however you want. You can do polka dots, stripes. You don't even have to decorate them at all if you want. Um, you can also change the sizes of the cups and the color palette. I obviously decided to go for a very brown sepia tone theme. I think it's very fall and autumn uh, and obviously goes well with coffee. And to finish off the design, I outlined the whole page in a border and I also added the little swirly steam doodles to make it look like the cups were piping hot with a fresh pot of coffee. For the page next to it, I decided to do a quote page and I drew this coffee cup from above, like an overhead angle. Um, and actually, I guess it would be considered a latte because I drew that, you know, the infamous latte design that baristas do sometimes, the swirly design with the milk foam. Um, so I drew that and colored it in with the brown and then above and below it, I have a quote. Some of the footage got cut, which is why you don't see me writing it, but it says, change the world, start with coffee. It's just a quote I found on Pinterest and I thought it was really cute. And to finish it off, partially because I wanted to drink a cup of coffee while I was doing this spread, but also because I wanted to incorporate it into my spread. So as you can see, I purposely spilled a, a little bit of coffee in my bullet journal and made these coffee rings in the corner edges of the quote page and I thought it was really cute. Please note, if you're gonna try doing this on your bullet journal, um, this did actually end up bleeding through a little tiny bit to the other side of my page, so be careful. Maybe test it out on a piece of paper beforehand or if you want to, you can just recreate it drawing the coffee rings with markers or, or watercolor paints or something um, if you don't wanna use real coffee, but I thought it added a little bit of authenticity. All right, so for the next spread, my calendar spread, I drew out the 
individual calendar boxes. It's been a while since I've done a monthly calendar in this style because for the past couple of months I've just drawn one big sort of rectangle for the calendars. So I decided to do the individual squares. These squares are five by five dot spaces each with one dot space in between. I did some quick brush strokes with my brown brush marker at the top to highlight the days of the week and I used these brown brush strokes a lot throughout the rest of the setup because I thought it kind of mimicked the look of like coffee spills or a coffee stain um, and is really cute. I'm gonna link the exact color code of the Tombow dual brush pen that I use in the description box below. As usual, all of the supplies that I use will be down there as well. Uh, at the top, I wrote out November with my brown brush pen and then on the side I have little boxes for goals and YouTube tracker. I finished off this calendar spread by doodling a bunch of the coffee mugs in the empty spaces and that's it. In general, this spread, and actually this entire setup was pretty simple to draw, and it was one of the quicker setups that I've done, um, but I've actually been leaning more towards simple, quicker spreads in terms of efficiency. But despite that, I do think there's still enough doodly and creative elements on it to make it fun. Next, I'm doing my trackers and I'm using my days of the month stamp that I have and coloring it in with a marker in order to stamp. I should probably get a stamping block eventually, but <laughs> I've been using this janky method for a while now and you know, it works. But what's good about it is that since I'm using the exact marker that I used for the rest of the setup, it matches the whole setup perfectly and makes it look very cohesive. So I highlighted the headers of each individual habit tracker calendar and then I wrote out the habits that I wanted to track that month. Which actually this month I included a coffee tracker so I could see exactly how much coffee I consume. So yes, um, I messed up this title, guys. <laughs> Do not leave a bunch of comments about it. I'm gonna fix it later. I literally did not even realize until I was editing this video, but I did write out mood tracker on the habit tracker and I wrote habit tracker on the mood tracker. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe this is a sign that I'm drinking too much coffee or maybe it's because I wasn't drinking enough that day and my mind was just elsewhere. But yes, mistakes happen, it's okay. I still think it turned out cute. Uh, but for my mood tracker, as you can see, I drew those same coffee cups, latte cups from above with the latte art. And what I'm gonna be doing is numbering out those foam designs. And on every single day, I will color it in depending on my mood, which I thought was pretty cute. Uh, I mean, cute aside from the fact that I completely messed up the titles and now I'm gonna have to figure out a way to fix them. But you know what? There's always a way. I'll probably end up patching the title over with white paper or something and then just redoing it. So um, yeah, make sure you don't recreate this exactly. Do the right titles, y'all. <laughs> I finished off the trackers with the coffee doodles and that's it for this spread. Next up, we have my brain dump page. This is pretty simple, just an empty page for me to dump out whatever's in my mind because there's a lot happening in November. Uh, and I have a little doodle of the same latte mugs in the corner. Uh, but other than that, the spread's pretty simple. I haven't done a brain dump in a while. Next, I'm doing my monthly playlist spread, and this month I decided to go with the theme and do a cafe playlist. One of my favorite things to do is just to go to a cafe, get some work done with my laptop, or read a book and listen to some music. And I think cafe playlists, we all, we all know the vibe. It's like very chill music, so that's my favorite type of music to listen to. So I've compiled a bunch of songs uh, that I've been really into this month. And a lot of my favorite artists came out with new music last month so there was a lot to share but of course as usual I'll put it all into a Spotify playlist for you guys and link it down below if you're interested in what I'm listening to. Some of the songs on this playlist that I've been listening to on repeat are Nothing by Bruno Major, UN Village by Baekhyun, 
Control Me by Cold, uh, a lot of Hyze's new album and TXT's new album. When I was filming this, uh, a bunch more music came out, so I probably am gonna end up adding even more to the Spotify playlist than uh, is on this actual spread. I finished off the whole spread by doodling the coffee cup above the phone with the headphones and with a nice title that matches the whole vibe with my brush pen and the brown. Finally, we have the first weekly spread for November. Uh, I used the back end of my Tombow Dual Brush Pen, the thinner side, to outline the boxes on this horizontal layout and just using the brown, no fine liner. I actually didn't use any draw shadows this month, which is super weird. A lot of you guys have actually been pointing this out to me that I haven't been doing very many drop shadows in general recently. I don't know what's gotten into me. The drop shadows just haven't been speaking to me for the past couple of themes, you know? <laughs> Maybe I'll get back into it eventually, but for this theme, I really like how the plain brown looks with the black. So to finish off the spread on the left side of the boxes, I drew out the coffee mugs with the number of the day uh, on the mug. And I wrote out the days of the week above it with that same brown highlighting method. And then lastly, I have a box at the bottom for any notes. Before I show you guys the final flip through of my bullet journal setup, I'd like to take this time to quickly talk a little bit about today's lovely sponsor, Skillshare. If you guys don't know what Skillshare is, they are an online learning community with thousands of classes in design, illustration, lettering, business, technology. Pretty much if there's anything that you are interested in, I'm sure Skillshare has a class on it. And one of those classes actually includes my own class. I have a class all about creative journaling and it is exclusive to Skillshare. So if you're interested in taking my class or any other class for that matter, then I definitely recommend you guys check out Skillshare. I've actually been using it recently to take a couple of Chinese classes because one of my goals has been to learn a little bit more Mandarin and that's actually gonna be one of my main goals carrying over into 2020. And Skillshare is great for learning languages because it's video courses, so it helps with learning pronunciation and things like that. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to all of their high quality classes so you can improve your skills and learn something new. And the best part is, is it's actually one of the more affordable learning platforms out there with an annual membership starting as low as $10 a month, which we love. So if you guys are interested in trying out Skillshare for yourself and get started learning, be sure to click that link in the description box below for a free two month trial. Big thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and for always being a huge supporter of the channel. They're honestly a really big reason why I can post weekly videos like this one for you guys. So be sure to send them some love. But anyways, back to the rest of the video and the flip through. All right, that was my November 2019 coffee-themed bullet journal setup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had a little bit of a hiccup along the way, but no worries, it's all good. It turned out okay. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. All right, everyone, so while I wrap up this video, it's time for me to showcase your beautiful recreations from last month, which was October, the moon theme. You guys absolutely crushed the recreations. I love seeing them so much. So if you happen to recreate this month's bullet journal setup or any other theme, the best way to make sure I see them is to tag me on Instagram in the caption and the photo. And you can also use our hashtag, hashtag Lil Doodles. I always love seeing your recreations every month. It's my favorite thing to do, just creeping on you guys. So I can't wait to see what you guys do this month. Um, and also besides that, Instagram is a great place for you guys to keep updated on my life. And we do weekly live streams there where I do the rest of the weekly spreads as well. So it's a fun time. So I think that's just about it. Don't forget to turn on notifications, click that bell button down below and click all notifications if you want to see more videos from me. Recently, YouTube hasn't been sending my videos to some people's feeds, so that bell button is definitely the best way to 100% guarantee that you know when I post a video. I hope you guys have an awesome day, keep doodling, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye everyone!